Hey kids, today I'm going to be sharing some fun facts about the renowned psychologist Sigmund Freud. So as most of us know, Freud had a lot of crackpot theories that seem ridiculous by today's standards. One of his more famous ideas was that of penis envy, that being that all females subconsciously want to have a dick. The theory gets a lot more in-depth than just that, though. Freud formulated a whole psychosexual process that females undergo during their development, the majority of which centers around their uncontrollable desire to wield a phallus. Here's the entire step-by-step -step growth sequence that Freud believed every girl went through as children. And no, I am not making any of this up. So it starts with a four-year-old girl, right? Hey, I want to bang my mom. Wait a minute, where's my dick? Alright, well this won't do. I need a wiener ASAP. Hey, Dad has a dick. Maybe he'll let me borrow his. Cool. Hold on. This means that I want his dick. That must mean I want to bang him too now, I guess. Matter of fact, forget Mom. She's probably the one who cut off my dick in the first place. I'm all about Papa Boner now. What? Hey, stop it. That's mine. Well, fine. If you like giving your penis to ladies so much, guess I'll just fucking be a lady. Alright, Dad, well, your penor belongs to this whore, and she already cut my willy off once, so these other dongs are, you know, close enough to yours, so they'll just have to do. And now, at long last, I'm a well-adjusted, normal human female. One of Freud's extrapolations of the penis envy theory probably takes the cake for the most batshit insane thing the man has ever said. It's about why women tend to weave or knit as a hobby or profession. According to Freud, back in the ancient days, women invented weaving in order to braid their pubes and make it less noticeable that they didn't have a penis. By plating their genital hair into an organized pattern, it would hang down and hide their gash, giving them a newfound confidence. It was only after women mastered the art of turning their carpet into drapes that they were like, hey, you know, this might be useful in places other than my crotch, and decided to make clothes and baskets and things. So as you can see, a lot of the man's exploits are pretty ludicrous. Apparently though, Freud's been doing some pretty crazy stuff even before he became a neurologist. When he was at university at age 19, Freud was tasked with finding the testicles of the eel. How hard could that be, Freud thought. Okay, Sigmund, here's 400 eels. Now just take your time and search carefully. THESE ARE ALL GIRLS! Sir, I highly doubt that. GO GET MORE! Mr. Freud, I really don't- WHAT'S A NIGGA GOTTA DO TO GET SOME EEL DICK? As it turns out, male eels don't actually grow their testes until mating season, which is why Freud was unable to find them. So you may wonder what influenced Freud's behavior over the years. One explanation is the fact that the man loved cocaine. Not only did he consider it a cure-all for various physical ailments, he also made heavy recreational use of the substance for many years of his life. In fact, Freud was such a fan of nose candy that he would often give it as a gift to friends and family members during the holidays. Aw, uh, what's wrong, little Jenny? Oh, Uncle Sigmund, all I ever wanted was a white Christmas this year. Funny you should mention that. So yeah, interesting guy. That's all for today. Till next time, I'm Sam Manella, and thank you for watching.